Very good evening to you and welcome to Mission. I am Josephine Frimpon. Our first story, the Sustainable Development Goals emphasize the need for improved health care for all. But for residents of Domoli, Kekaldo and Ejan in the Nzema East Municipality of the Western Region, access to health remains a dream. Nana Kwekwedia has more. Domunli, Kukwado and Ejan are three deprived communities located in the Nzima East Municipality of the Western Region. The three communities are less than 50 meters apart and fishing is the main occupation of residents. Women trek several miles to access the nearest health facility which is 12 kilometers away. <laughs> They promised to build us a health facility. It was not fulfilled. We have vowed not to believe their empty promises any longer. Residents say drivers are unwilling to use roads due to the bad nature of the stretch. The three communities have to contend with one primary school. Most people who make it from the primary level to junior high school in these communities are unable to proceed to senior high schools due to poverty. The privileged few have to contend with walking several miles to and from school. The stretch is far. The children get tired out of the long walk, so it is affecting their education. Unfortunately, the junior high school dropouts in the community are exposed to risks, including teenage pregnancy. This is worsened by their inability to access health care and its attendance consequences of maternal mortality. So 17-year-old Justina was uh, in JHS2 when she got pregnant and had a small boy who was just a year old behind her here. And then now she's four months pregnant, only in vanity. Now she's staying with a man. So it tells you the situation of uh, teenage pregnancy and school dropout. It adds up to the poverty situation in the community. Teenage pregnancy in the uh, in my East Axim Government Hospital, the data for 2015 January to June was 71. And uh, now in 2016, the data is 81. So meaning almost 10 uh, gap and shows that there has been an increase. The girls especially don't go to school when they are pregnant. It means that when they get pregnant, they are not going to school. They will stay in the house. And we need a lot of women. And you see in society, women do very well, especially when they are in certain positions. So if girls don't go to school, it's really a big problem. So we hope that all girls will as much as possible be in school. They are supposed to be in school. Women in the community complain about lack of jobs, stressing the Zoom line project which employed a sizable number of residents has collapsed. <laughs> When the Zoom Lion project was operational, we had some income to take care of our families until it collapsed. So we need jobs now. We don't have jobs in the community. The farming alone is not enough to take care of our families. They are demanding policies that provide credible solutions to their development needs. Hopefully, political parties' manifestos would reflect the developmental aspirations of these communities.